Hi, this is Brandon Schmeling from ThirstGym.com. Today we're going to talk about an exercise called the hook line tilt with low reach. This is a great breathing respiratory exercise. We're going to work on trying to loosen up the hips uh, and improve range of motion through respiration. Uh, we've talked about the regular hook line breathing. This is just a different variation. And we're really going to try to get some expansion up towards the shoulder with this. I would recommend that you have a yoga block, a ball, something relatively small that you can put in between your knees. Uh, it will benefit this exercise. And you'll get a little bit more from it. So here's what you're going to do. We're going to take, we're going to get in our hook lying position, okay? So we're going to have our feet on the floor like we're doing a sit-up is how I like to coach my clients. Take the yoga block, shove it here in between your knees a little bit. Just a light squeeze, okay? We're not trying to crush it or anything. Just make sure that you're not going to lose it when you let go. So we're trying to create a little bit of interrotation there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to find our tilt. So make sure you've coached your athlete probably through a regular PRI hook line breathing base drill or sagittal or the three tilts exercise that PRI kind of does. We want to feel our heels. We're going to kind of curl a little bit. We're going to try to shoot our knees towards the ceiling a little bit. You should feel some gluten hammies if you're doing that right. Okay. Make sure you're not going to over flex the abs. We're going to kind of relax these a little bit. Okay. There we go. Then what our hands, this is the main difference, we're going to take our hands, we're going to implement a low reach. So we're going to take our palms towards the ceiling, we're going to reach down, okay? We don't want to reach too high, we're just going to reach, you know, maybe 45 degree angle, give or take, like that, okay? We're going to turn those palms up, and then now, after we've got our tilt and everything, now we're just going to take some big breaths. Big breath in through our nose, out through our mouth, good and controlled. just like that. So the nice thing about the low reach that's going to be able to help us open up our shoulders a little bit as we externally rotate that shoulder that's going to help us bias some of our breathing up towards uh, the sternum and so what, as we do that then we basically are pushing air towards that area we're going to improve range of motion uh, and then you would be able to retest your shoulder mobility and see if you see any improvements um, i really like this for people that just got really really tight shoulders uh, or they happen to be those power lifters uh, that are dealing with a lot of like elbow and shoulder problems Give them some low reach breathing, watch those shoulders and elbows get uncranky, um, and then you obviously get some help uh, at the hips as well uh, with the hook line position, and then you're overall just going to be moving better and feeling better. I would recommend this for about three sets of five breaths, and then let me know how it feels. If you have any questions, please fill it in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.